Witnesses with two different stories take the stand in the Johnson County murder trial of Brandon Brown. He's accused in the shooting death of Donnell Lindsay last year. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Odigwe covered the proceedings all day and has the latest details. Mugo. With no gun or physical evidence linking the defendant to the crime, the prosecution continues to call in key witnesses to set the scene for the day of the crime. He was like a brother to me, you know. I'm just going to ask, what kind, of, what kind of friend was he to you? The best friend you could ever have. That's how the prosecution's key eyewitness, 35-year-old DeMarco Harris, described his relationship with the late Donnell Lindsay. He said he, along with Lindsay, Byron Fisher, and a group of others, had been drinking and hanging out that night when Brandon Brown asked to speak to Lindsay alone. He was like, little Byron, let me holler at you. Now, who said that? He did. Harris says he didn't know Brown, but assumed Lindsay must have. He said the two men went to the site of the building, and although he was distracted, he noticed that they were arguing. That's when this gentleman right here up the handgun, he up the gun and shot him. Harris says he didn't call the police after the shooting because he had just gotten out of jail on parole violation the day before. The defense then asked him whether that's why some members of the victim's family blame him for the murder. Ain't nobody apologized. Ain't nobody even asked how I felt, boy. It's cool. I mean, that's something I got to deal with. The prosecutor also called in Nicole Blosser, the girlfriend of the suspect's cousin, Ivan. Ivan was killed in a shootout with police in August of last year. She said Brown came into the apartment she shared with Ivan after the shooting, and then they left town. Where did you go uh, when you left the apartment? Um, Chicago. She said she and Ivan dropped Brown off at an apartment building in Chicago, then immediately drove back to Iowa City. Blosser admits she did not come forward with any information about the shooting until the police questioned her. The state also called in a first responder and a police officer to the stand this afternoon. The trial continues Monday. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.